Hey everybody, this is World War Guy here today, and today we're going to be seeing if you can use World War I American field gear for your World War II impression. Now, a lot of times, you know, we might be using uh, original items for your impression, whether it's for reenacting or living history event, or, you know, just for a display in your room. And a lot of times you might come across a World War I item sooner than a World War II item, depending, you know, on uh, different factors. And you might be thinking, like, well, do I really want to spend more money on a 1940 dated haversack or insert specific field gear? And so this is what this video is going to look at. We're going to see, can you use that or do you have to buy a new one? All right, so we have some different examples here. First one we're going to look at is cartridge belts. Now, for those who are experienced, who have looked at different examples and stuff like that, you can probably tell which one is World War I and which one is World War II. But to everyone else who's new at this, you might not be able to tell the difference. Well, I'll tell you, the top one is World War I and the bottom one is World War II. So that, so what I'm saying is you can use either one for your impression. And I'm not saying that because they look similar. I'm saying that because there has been, you know, photo evidence that this cartridge belt has been used in World War II. A lot of times you have to understand the U.S. Army or the U.S. military used a lot of World War I equipment because it was very similar to what the World War II equipment was like. And you know the saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah, it might have a bit of different variation, but you know, these cartridge belts look identical. They can fit the same amount of ammo or the same uh, type of ammo. So if it's not broken, they're just gonna issue it so they don't have to worry about making new equipment. So cartridge belt, yes, you can use them as long as this, this variant. All right, next item here is the haversack. Yes, this is another one you can use for your World War II impression, but only for more earlier uh, impressions. So 1941, 1942. About 1944, 1945, the World War I haversacks are probably going to be phased out. Um, I personally haven't really seen any World War I haversacks in late war period. Um, but as you can see, really the only difference that you can see right now is the World War I, World War I haversack has a bun for the meat can pouch, while this one is a buckle and a strap. Uh, the only other difference is on the back side, the World War I has only one strap to hold your belt while the World War II has two straps. That's really the only difference you're gonna notice. And then of course the date's gonna be different and some very minor different hardware. So this is another item you can use for your World War II impression. All right, the next item there is the M1 bayonet. Now, this also will depend on what time period you're basing it off of. If you're doing an early war, so 1941, 1942, maybe 1943, you can use a untouched World War One example. So this is a reproduction, but this is the 16 inch blade. Um, this one you can use if it's a World War One dated one, you can use for an early World War II dated one. Now, if you're doing late war, you're gonna need a shortened one, but a lot of World War One bands were shortened to the 10 inch. So this one was a 16 inch and you can kind of notice there, it was shortened at one point. Now, of course, this one's dated 1942 but a lot of the World War I bayonets were also shortened. So again, depending on your time period, you can use a World War I bayonet in either the 16-inch version or the 10-inch version. All right, next item here is the canteen, the M1910 canteen. Now, as you can tell, you can't really tell which one is a World War I dated or World War II dated. And so that, yes, you can use this for your World War II impression. A lot of World War I canteens, canteen covers, and even canteen cups were used in World War II because they're nearly identical. And if they're not broken, why fix them? So this one is a 1918 dated canteen cover with a 1918 dated canteen. These are the exact same that would have been made in 1942. And therefore, you can use for impression. This one's dated 1934, but as you can tell, there's no difference. 1934, although I think inside I have a 1918 canteen. No, see, look at that. 1942, and it looks exactly the same as your 1918 canteen. So of course, these you can use up to 1945. Um, of course, 
by around 1943, the canteen started having a Bakelite cap. And around 1942, I believe, the canteen covers were slightly larger um, to make it easier to get your cup out. But I've seen photos of US GIs and Marines using World War I canteen covers and canteens all the way up to 1945. All right, and the last item for today's video is the shovel. Now, until 1943, the US military only had the T-handle shovel. They made them, you know, 1941, 1942, and I believe as late as 1943. And it was in 1943 that they developed the M43 entrenching tool, which has the, you know, folding blade. So obviously it would make sense to be able to use a World War I shovel for your World War II impression. The only difference is in World War II, they would have painted them green. Um, were some left unpainted and issued to troops? Possibly, but I can't say for sure. The covers are exactly the same. The only difference would have been the date. And then some of the hardware. In World War I, a lot of them were squ squared, but then there was changed to a more rounded buckle and tab there. So hopefully that answers your question. If you have a World War I item laying around in your room and you want to use it for your impression of, you know, 1942, if it's these items, then yes, you can definitely use it. I hope this video helped you guys. If you like this kind of video, you know, drop a like, write a comment, share, and subscribe. But besides that, you guys have a great day.